Well, over the last two years, we've been working on an album, and uh, we're so excited about it finally coming out. Uh, the album has such a variety of things, but it is called One Foot in the Honky Tonk. Uh, we collected songs, and we have traditional songs, and we have original material, and then we found new songs that fit in a genre. Um, particularly excited about uh, some of the honky tonk songs that we have on there. Maybe some people haven't heard them, and what we've done is we've taken bluegrass instrumentation and created these honky tonk songs. No steel guitar, no drums, and uh, Don Reno and Red Smiley used to do that, and I'm really lucky to be working with somebody like Doug Nicolaisen, who has taken the Don Reno style and also the Scrug style, along with a little bit of his own flavor, and uh, he is such a great banjo player and has done such interesting things with some of these songs on the new album. Nick Sullivan is not just a great person, he's a great bass player. In fact, he's more than a bass player, he's a bassist. And he has such great arranging skills. Uh, it's just great to hear him also sing with Mark, that three-part harmony that I always love on you know, bluegrass albums. I'm very lucky to have Mark Farrell in the band because he plays both mandolin and fiddle. And what, whenever he's playing fiddle, what we do is we, we brought in Barry Mitteroff, who worked with uh, Yorma Kokona and a Hot Tuna and his, uh, Hazel Dickens and a number of people. And he plays mandolin when Mark plays fiddle. We had rehearsals to do that. And then when Mark plays um, mandolin, we brought in Kenny Kosek, and Kenny Kosek worked with Jerry Garcia and Jerry Garcia's band, and he worked with Red Allen. And so uh, we have that five-piece band live in the studio. Uh, it's just the band in the studio raw. We enjoy each other's company. It's almost like a band of brothers. Tina has written a beautiful song, and Tina has been uh, not only instrumental in having the Barnstormers uh, get the recognition that we really never felt we would have, but she's also written a beautiful song on the album called Snake Eyes. Well, we worked really hard on the album. We enjoyed every minute of it. We like listening to it so much now, and we hope you do too.